What kind of message right. does Cantor's loss send to the Republican Party? Petrifies them, uh, Mark. The message is that you have to protect your right flank. All that narrative of just a few weeks ago, the Tea Party was an eclipse, that you didn't have to worry about uh, challengers, uh, perceptions or realities in politics. The perception now is, my God, if they can get Eric Cantor, they can come after me next. But I thought Eric... Eric Cantor was the Tea Party. What happened? Well, that's that's an interesting point. He is. If, 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 if you were in Washington and you analyzed the House leadership, the Republican Party in the House, you'd say Eric Cantor was one of the real conservatives. That's not the way he was viewed by the rank and file. Uh, and that's what that's what killed him. What was it that was his undoing? Was it his willingness to perhaps compromise on immigration mm -hmm. reform? No, because the compromise was really rather modest. I'm sure that was a piece of it. It's like everything. There's no one thing. But it was, I would guess, more than anything. And, and Mark, I didn't see this coming. I didn't have any earthly idea. I was shocked last night, as I think uh, just about everybody else was. I think it probably was a sense that he was aloof, removed from the district. You know, it's interesting because I looked at my BlackBerry last night. I thought it was a mistake. <coughs> yeah, I did, too. Uh, uh, I, I, I think it's the single most surprising primary election return uh, since I've been covering politics. And a lot of people are trying to make comparisons, but this is, it's different from when House Speaker Tom Foley is, was defeated and when uh, Tom Daschle was defeated uh, in the Senate because that was in the general. They were defeated by Republicans, right. correct? Not a primary they challenge. They were defeated, they were, you're absolutely right, they were defeated by Republicans and what were, and, and what basically both were Republican years, 94 particularly. So, so this is, this is of a, a totally different order. And I can't think of any primary that had this kind of ramifications. Look, Mark, uh, they, they, they first tapped a House majority leader, I think it was in 1799, and no House majority leader has ever lost a primary since then. So this is unusual. Uh, speaking of unusual, how worried is Speaker John Boehner right now? I think Speaker John Boehner is worried in a different sense, not so much for his own job. I think the Speaker at least entertained the notions of perhaps leaving. I don't think he was going to, but he thought about it. This makes it almost impossible for him to leave now because there is such a void of leadership. No one can raise the kind of money that he could raise for the party in the next election cycle. Uh, but, and, but, but what worries him is there will be this, I mean, the next five weeks, bring all the dogs, children, babies inside. <laughs> you don't want to see what's going on in the House of Representatives. The jockeying, the fighting, and these internal struggles in the House or the Senate, I love them because these guys all lie to each other. Nobody knows what really motivates them, and it's going to be a, just a humongous fight for majority leader and possibly for whip, too. Okay, so who's in line for it? Talk to us about that jockeying. Who uh, wants the job? Interesting. I think the two leading candidates to be majority leader, number one, is Jeb Henserling of Texas, uh, who's head of the, uh, of the financial committee right now. Uh, the other ca strong candidate might be uh, Kevin McCarthy, who is the current whip. Usually Republican Party moves people up. Uh, but I think Henserling uh, will be a very formidable candidate. Pete Sessions says he's going to run. Uh, I would guess if Henserling runs, he'll bow out. And then the issue becomes, does the right wing of the party, the Tea Party, the ultra-right wingers, they say, hey, we want a seat at the table. Yeah. We need to have one of our own people at least as whip. So I don't know how that plays out. Is that something that's going to happen? Would uh, Speaker Boehner have a choice? Well, these, they have to be elected by their colleagues, but Speaker Boehner can certainly influence uh, if there is an opening, say, for WHIP. I think that would, that would really be, a, uh, you know, that, that would be different. Majority leader, I think the Speaker's influence will be very limited. Mm -hmm. uh, it really would be. He, this is something where these guys vote on their own. And uh, yeah. uh, I, would, I, I would tell you one time about how Mo Udall described uh, what a caucus is like, except it's not fit for family television. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, but it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun, but it's going to be rough. Al, we have about 20 seconds. What other, race are, what other races are worrying Republicans right now? Mississippi. Uh, uh, June 24th, that Mississippi runoff just scares them half to death. Yeah, Thad Cochran, uh, if right? The Tea Party, if the Tea Party candidate wins then, not only could the Democrats take that seat, but it could have a Todd Aiken uh, infecting uh, effect, if you will, on other Republicans.